Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to the Mindworks channel. Thanks a lot for all of you who have been downloading the app. And uh, uh, just for those of you wondering what I'm talking about, we have just launched our, our uh, fresh app, the Arun Sharma Academy app on, on the Play Store and Apple Store. So do do go ahead and, and uh, download that. And uh, you, you'll get a lot of me and a lot of my, con lot of my content and uh, Inakshi Ma'am's content and our, the Mindworks team content there. Also, not just, not just on aptitude, but also on school uh, subjects as well as, uh, as uh, professional courses as we go there. But this session is different. Uh, this session, of course, is a continuation of our uh, 50 must-know questions and quants. And my endeavor, at least, is to, to actually complete this over the next 37 days uh, so that uh, uh, at least once, once a day I'm, I'm there with you uh, on this uh, channel and, uh, and, and showing you these questions. But I'm slightly disappointed by the fact that uh, the first few videos on this course had, uh, had over, uh, uh, over four or 5,000 uh, views. And the last ones are now struggling to get to 2,000. So maybe uh, it's time that you start upping the, the, those of you at least who are following it, uh, for my motivation, hopefully you can, you can start uh, increasing the number of comments you make and also sharing it around, uh, sharing the videos around, if you're liking the solutions, of course. Yeah, no? uh, so uh, coming back, is, of course, there's no, no compulsion from my side. I'll continue doing what I have to do uh, because I personally always believe, and this is one of the factors that you need to understand about doing well in life is that once you decide that kuch karna hai, you, you keep doing it. You, you, I mean, consistency and, and putting your head down and working is what is much more important than doing anything else. So, so, so I've already given you this message. No, this is not an error. Uh, this uh, is question 12, which we did yesterday. So, uh, I, I told you two methods. One was the Chaluwala method of just measuring the, the lens and the other one was, uh, was the one in which I talked about the Pythagoras theorem. But in um, uh, this question, mein, there was one more uh, uh, method which uh, Apurva had commented about. So I thought I'll uh, just explain this. Actually, the method is same. Hai. This is not a new method. But uh, there was one uh, part of the spotting of the solution. What can I do? I told you the standard process in questions like this is to make this triangle, right? And inside this triangle, this is if, if I take the larger circle as capital R and the smaller circle as small r uh, and the smaller circle as small r then both these sides, this side as well as this side both the, both the sides on the 90 degree uh, angle both of them as are, are basically nothing but r minus r right, so both of them are r minus r and, and essentially that is where you can actually avoid the, the, uh, uh, the, the Pythagoras theorem I, I had solved it yesterday with r minus r whole square plus r minus r whole square is equal to r plus r whole square. So, uh, usme wo avoidance is tarah se ho sakta hai. You can avoid that uh, essentially by, by understanding that this is actually a, this, this triangle that you have been able to draw. This triangle that you have been able to draw. This triangle is actually a 45-45-90 triangle. So, in a 45-45-90 triangle, if uh, this is x and this is x, then we know that this is x root 2. Right, x square plus x square, two x square has to be equal to square of this. So, so x root root two is a diagonal. So basically, instead of doing doing uh, the the expansions of the of the brackets, you can also solve this faster by saying that since this is and, and the give, given in this question was that the the radius of the largest circle is two. So so the length of the uh, of the hypotenuse here, the length of the hypotenuse since it's a 45 49 45 90 triangle. The length of the hypotenuse will be root 2 times the length of the side. And since the length of the side is given to you as 2 minus uh, r, you, you, you've been able to identify that as 2 minus r, length of the larger uh, radius minus length of the smaller radius. Uh, this is equal to um, root 2 times this, 2 minus r into root 2 should be equal to 2 plus r. So this will be a much easier equation to solve because it's a linear equation and you can just solve this to get r. Isko solve karo ke. So essentially what you get is uh, take, the, take, the, uh, in, take the numbers on one side and take r on, one, on the other side. You will get uh, 2 root 2, uh, 2 root 2 minus 2 is equal to uh, r plus r root 2. <clears throat> and uh, when you when you take the two common on the left hand side 
this uh, expression changes to 2 into root 2 minus 1 divided by and, and r into r plus r plus r root 2 can be written as r into 1 plus root 2 and the 1 plus root 2 can be taken to the left side so r yahan pe aajayega aur yahan pe root 2 plus 1 aajayega so you have this solution for uh, for uh, r as 2 root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1 and obviously like in most things in mathematics where you have uh, uh, where you have uh, uh, these uh, uh, these these uh, irrational numbers you don't leave the rational numbers in the new, in the denominator so you rationalize it by multiplying it by root 2 minus 1 both numerator and denominator so the denominator will, uh, numerate, the denominator will, will disappear because it will be 2 minus 1 and the numerator will be 2 times root 2 minus 1 whole square that will be the value of uh, r since you have multiplied and divided that's a standard movement or standard issue uh, process in, in uh, quants since you have multiplied and divided the numerator and denominator by the same number, the number does not change. So the right hand side is still r. So 2 root 2 minus 1, 2 into root 2 minus 1 whole square is equal to r. So if you, exp if you expand this, root 2 minus 1 whole square is 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 1. So basically the value of r that is coming out as a final uh, answer here in this question is uh, 6 minus 4 root 2. You just take 2 plus 1, 3 into 2, 6 and minus 4 root 2. That's, that's the answer. So this was a, impo uh, a better solution of the previous question. Thanks to Apoorva for pointing that out to me. And for today's session, uh, this is the question that I've picked up. This is from CAD 2019. And I hope those of you following uh, this uh, series uh, who are not uh, part of, who are not, who are not looking at CAD but other exams which have geometry, uh, the next uh, 8 to 10 questions are geometry. Although these are quite CAD questions, but mostly you will see that most of these questions are three steps. So it's, it's important for almost every aptitude exam that you take because typically wo aptitude or question bank similar rata hai, har jaga. So even if you are preparing for any other exam which, uh, which might not uh, be CAT but, but any other aptitude exam, you should try to look at, uh, look at all possible ways or all possible uh, question banks. And, uh, and I think this 50 must know questions uh, will help you there also. So and I, I'm, I'm quite sure a lot of you know that. I'm, I'm told by my publishers there are a lot of people who are preparing for banking exams, etc. and now using my book, books, etc. So it, it obviously, I mean, I, I guess most of you realize that factor. Even people preparing for IPMAT exams uh, use my books. So, so, so the, the value, value of the question is pretty, pretty high. So this is the question and uh, three marks for you if you just know how to handle this question. Three marks in, for you. If you know how to handle the question, it's basically hardly a minute, minutes time. And, and 30 such questions, you are down up to 90 marks. 90 marks, you are getting a 97, 98 percentile, getting to the top B schools, changing your life completely. Why will you not learn those three steps? What do you do in this question? What is the question saying? The question is saying, corners are cut off from an equilateral triangle. T, to produce a regular, regular hexagon H. So you have to understand this part. So there's an equilateral triangle. Um, oops, why, why this side? Huh. There's an equilateral triangle. There's an equilateral triangle. And the corners are cut off to form a regular hexagon. So you need to understand uh, two, two, three thoughts that you need here in this question. When you cut off the corners to form a regular hexagon, a regular hexagon is a hexagon which has all sides equal. So basically what's going to happen is if you cut the corners, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 sides of the hexagon and all these 6 sides are going to be equal. Which means that if I take these 6 sides as A, each of these sides is A each. The, the side of the regular hexagon is 6, uh, is, is basically A. And the perimeter is of course 6a. And uh, the, the formula you should know for an area. Why we are going into areas? Because the question is asking us. Uh, the question is asking us to find the ratio of the area of H to T. That means the ratio of the area of the hexagon, regular hexagon, to the triangle. Now, the only thing, other thing you need to know in this question is that in, your, in a regular hexagon, all the angles are equal. 
all the angles are equal. So basically, uh, for a regular hexagon, uh, the area of a regular, since you, you want area of h by t, the area of the regular hexagon is 6 times uh, 6 times 6 equilateral triangles. So, so essentially, in a regular hexagon, the basic logic is that you are able to form 6 equilateral triangles uh, there. Uh, so, so each of this will is with a side a. And the, and the uh, area of an of a equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4a square. So this uh, area of the hexagon will be 6 times root 3 by 4 a square. So the only thing missing now is the area of the triangle. How do you find the area of the triangle? And for that you need to understand that uh, um, either you can do it from here. If this is 6 equilateral triangles, you know that. So these are 60, 60 and this is also 60. So each of this is 120, which means this angle is also 60 and this angle is also 60. So so essentially what we have in the corner is also an equilateral triangle. So if this side is A, then this side is also A. And that means same, same logic all over the place. So the each side of the triangle is 3A. So each side of the triangle is 3A, whether you look at that side or this side or this side. So, so essentially the, uh, the area of the triangle is root 3 by 4 into 3A square. Now 3A square can be written as 3a whole square can be written as 9a square. So the area of the equilateral triangle T is 9a square in the denominator. A is not going to matter. Root 3 and 4 and root 3 and 4 are not going to matter. What you are left with is essentially a value of 6 in the numerator and 9 in the denominator. So the ratio is 2 is to 3. That's the answer. And this is 3 marks uh, in the CAT 2019 paper. Not so ancient. And uh, as I keep telling you, uh, your exam, your DD exam, whether you're looking at CAT 21, 22, or any other exam you're looking at, uh, is going to be about executing. Uh, if you want to solve 20 questions, you have to be able to execute 60 steps. Do you know those steps? Have you, I mean, to, to, to be able to execute the 60 steps, those 60 steps will be a, uh, will be a subset of the 3,000 steps you need to learn for, for mathematics. It's as simple as that. And the best part of mathematics is that once you know, a process, you don't have to learn it every time. You only learn a process in maths once. So, so that was the question. I hope you're enjoying the series. My next few uh, sessions are going to continue on geometry. So I'm going to go maybe till 20 on geometry and then I'll come into arithmetic, which a lot of you are asking about. And then I'll finally close this. Uh, maybe I'll do 15, 20 questions on arithmetic in this series. And finally, we'll close with number systems uh, to, to wind up the 50. Number systems and maybe permutation combination to wind up the 50. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, do download the app, uh, uh, the, the, the Arun Sharma Academy app. Uh, there's a uh, uh, 50 rupee discount uh, for the first 100 students on the track every interview program through the app. Uh, you, can, you can register for it. And there's a lot of free goodies also coming up uh, on the app. There are a lot of free courses which we are going to put up uh, there. So, so, and and uh, mentorship, etc. for the first uh, I mean, for the, for the initial group of students who are, who are joining uh, us on the app, definitely will keep happening there, right? So it's going to be uh, one challenge that I'm picked, I've picked up. And uh, the basic philosophy that I tell everybody to, to, to do is So I've been, uh, we have been, we've been away from an app till now because we were not able to commit the resources to it and the commit the required uh, content to it. But now somehow we have now taken that, that final leap of faith and uh, uh, going, going, going ahead with it now. Thank you so much. Need your encouragement. And more importantly, please do share the videos uh, on YouTube. I'm disappointed by the 1,500 views and, and struggling to get to 2,000 views on this series. Do, do help me motivate myself a little bit better. Sounds better if 5,000 people watch it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. I'll be back on the other side with the I am cozy called uh, selection criteria. So do watch that also. And those of you who have missed uh, the initial parts, of this. Uh, this is all part of the playlist. So do do uh, look at all the questions on the playlist. 1 to 13 are all there. Thank you so much. Bye.